It is a blustering day here in Sevastopol where we are beginning our turkey trot, which is a benefit for the Sevastopol High School. I'm here today with Susan and Tim Moore, who are uh, some of the people who put this program together so that we can have a wonderful event. And of course today, my beautiful co-host, Miss Neshla, who's here with me as well. Uh, I guess first off, let's talk about what the turkey trot is. The Turkey Trot is a family event that's put on by the Sevastopol PTO in conjunction with the Surgeon Bay High School girls swim team. Um, it's just meant to get families out to enjoy the day, to get people moving, and also serves as a fundraiser for those organizations. Okay, so the money that is raised doing this benefits the, the swim team and then other programs within the school system. You got okay. it. So, um, and is that the first year that you're organizing this turkey trot, or have you done such things before? This is the first year that we've, Susan and I, have helped organize it, but it's been going on for several years. Oh, okay. And are you two from Sevastopol, or Institute, or where do you live? We, we live in Sturgeon Bay. We have two children that attend Sevastopol schools. Oh, and how old are they? Seven and eight. So, elementary school. Cool. So what can we look forward to seeing? I mean, um, I, I've, I've definitely seen some runs, um, but I, when I first heard Turkey Trot, I, I immediately thought, oh, they're gonna run turkeys, and of course that's not the case. But I mean, what can we, what can we look forward to seeing? I'm, I'm guessing you've seen this happen before. Yeah. So what do we look forward to seeing here? Actually, we do have a turkey that we'll be running. <laughs> <laughs> we, we do, we have a turkey costume that somebody wears okay. to kind of kick off and leads the race. Okay. Um, then we have several events. We have the Fun Run event, which is for all ages, you know, any sports level. It's a half mile, you know, either run or walk. Any of the events can be run or walked. Okay. We then also have a two mile and a four mile walk. And there are gonna be some serious runners out there that are in it for the prizes and trying to beat their records. And, and then we have the people again who just walk it and are out here just to get some exercises, exercise to have some social time and have a good time. This year we have a new event um, with three person relay that's geared for ages seven to 12. And each person in that relay is doing three quarters of a mile. That's more than I can do, I can tell you that right now. Um, so you said you mentioned prizes. What are, I mean, and I know that a lot of people do this just because I enjoy running. I have a friend and, and that's all he does is run. I mean, every marathon he gets into, he just does it just to do it. But what are like some of the prizes that people can look forward to actually seeing or receiving from being a part of this event? The winners of the runs can, the, let me think, the top winner of each category wins a frozen turkey. And then the top three get a first, second, and third place medal. All of the people in the fun run get a medal for participating. And then we also have door prizes. So, and, and the prizes there run the gamut from a case of Baumeister soda um, to gift certificates from many restaurants, including the Inn Cedar Crossing, Culver's, um, PC Junction, you know, on down the list, um, up to things like uh, pass to the water park at Meadow Ridge. We have some bike tune-ups from Door County Motorsports. So we have quite a variety of door prizes that people can win. Know, you said frozen turkey. That's my favorite animal <laughs> to eat anyway. <laughs> I might have to get in this run myself so I can get a turkey. Um, so what can we expect as far as a number? How many people do you think will actually be here for the event? Well, prior to race day, we had 320 some people already registered. Uh, last year, same day uh, registrants were uh, just under 100. And with this beautiful weather, I I'm sure hoping for a good turnout. <laughs> so I'm kind of hoping to maybe break a record here today. So. Um, yeah, are you two participating in any runs or something? Or are you just organizing? <laughs> we're just, <laughs> just helping organize and yep. work things out today. That's okay. keeping us pretty busy. <laughs> We're back at the Trotanrennen here, and I'm back with Principal Majeski. And so, why a turkey trot? Wow, that's a very good question. Why a turkey trot? Well, we're th close to Thanksgiving, so that's one reason. So we want to celebrate Thanksgiving. And also, at our fun run here, we give away free turkeys to the winners of each of the age area. We're going to give away close to 50 turkeys wow. to each of the age categories. So you'll see a lot of at the end of the race and when we hand out the, the prizes and, the, and the, the gold medallions for the winners in second and third places, you'll see some people leaving with big turkeys, frozen turkeys. So two reasons, Thanksgiving and we actually give turkeys away to the winners. 
Wow, that's amazing. And um, how many categories are there, like oh, age we, categories? We, we have about 40 categories. We divide it into male and female, and then we divide it out into ages all the way from seven years of age to 70 years of age, usually with about five ages in between, like 70 to 75, 75 to 80, and so on. So we have quite a few age categories. So if, if you're coming here to run, you have a real good chance of winning something. <laughs> <laughs> like me, I need to mm -hmm. run in this one so I can win something. Well, last year, our oldest participant was 81, ran a two-mile, 81. Wow. He obviously won because he was the only person in that category. <laughs> so he was very successful. He got a turkey, so he why not? He got a turkey, that's exactly right. So now, how long have you been involved in this? Oh, gosh, I've been involved in this uh, turkey trot for about 22 years right now. Okay. We've been doing it for a long time. Uh, one of our FIA teachers, Cassie Sibick, initially started it with her Fit for Life class and it just, like things in Door County, just kind of grows here and takes on a life of itself. Volunteers come and go. And, but we've got a core committee uh, of about five people that just kind of organize it. They know what they need to do and everything just falls in place. All the volunteers come back every year. And, and Laddie did his job with the great weather again. He always <laughs> promises that every year. So we've been pretty blessed with the good weather. Well, it is definitely a beautiful day. Believe it or not, this is my type of weather. All I mean, right. I, I dress for it, but it's definitely my type of weather. Now, um, we talked to Sue, and they're mm -hmm. hoping to break a record. What is the current record for participants? The current record is probably about four, I think it's 455, right around there. We had close to 400 registrants. I think it was 390 coming in today. And typically we get anywhere between 100 and 150 walk-in registrants just before the race. So we could break a record. And we were unsure because about four weeks ago we didn't have many pre-registrations. So we were kind of nervous about it. but. Now with the economy, there are a lot of runs around in the county right now. We weren't sure how it was going to turn out, but wow, it turned out fantastic. Just in the last two weeks, we got a slew of registrations, and now the weather report has been good for today, so that may bring in another 100. We're looking to break another record today. So now, um, I, I'm talking about records. Now, mm -hmm. today, I actually, and I should know this, and I promise you I'll get it, I don't know what the temperature is, but what has been the coldest run since you've been doing this 22 years, you said. Gosh. So what is the coldest run that we've, you've done? We've had snow, okay? <laughs> we have had snow and we still, we've never canceled. Okay. All right? The, the snow is not the worst. It's the rain and the wind that could okay. be the worst. But we've had, uh, gosh, it's probably been 25 degrees when we've still run. We didn't have a real good turnout those years. <laughs> I could only <laughs> imagine. imagine. But but you know you those runners are hardy people, right. and they dress for it. And a, a lot of the hardcore runners, no matter what the weather, they're going to be there and they're going to run. And they have their wrist timers and they're timing themselves and they're dead serious. So regardless of the weather, we're still going to run it. Nala, did you have any questions? Yeah. Um, are many people from like students from Sevastopol participating today, or? Very good question. We have we have students from all over the place, and one of the reasons we do it later in the years is we have a lot of cross country teams from other schools. There's been years where we've had the UWGB college cross country team come up. Usually, our cross country team from Sevastopol, Gibraltar, Sturgeon Bay, Southern Doors usually compete in the team events. So, in order to not interfere with their season. We have to wait till after their season is over with. So uh, students at Sevastopol will probably have 70 to 80 to 90 students from Sevastopol participating, but then also students from all other schools too. And it's kind of a uh, reunion for the cross country teams because you can imagine there's rivalries oh, yeah. and they want oh, to make yeah. sure and outdo each <laughs> other. That's great. I hope I meet some people from my class then. I'm sure you will. I'm sure you'll meet many. Okay. Well, we did you have another question? No. Okay. I'm well, we don't want to hold you up because we know there's yeah. a lot that still has to be done and, of course, with people starting to come in. So we want you to definitely be busy. But we're going to be rooting for you. We're going to be rooting for that record to be broken. I'm going to find out what the actual temperature was. And maybe some of these people who've been around know they the actual coldest temperature know. on hand. And we'll figure out that little bit of trivia as well. But thank you so much for taking time to talk to us today. Um, and we'll probably more than likely talk to you a little bit later, too. Sounds good. It's my pleasure. And, again, we want to thank you for coming out here, giving us some great PR. And Laddie's always here. <laughs> as usual so thanks out to go out to you. okay and we're back with Rustam engineer a freshman from Sebastopol High School so hi and thanks that you're willing to do an interview with me um, 
How many times have you participated in this turkey shot? Uh, this is my third year, I think. Yeah, it's my third year participating, so. Yeah, and um, are you on a track team or are you running in school or any other teams or is this just for fun? Well, I'm thinking about running in track, but I'm probably not going to, so this is pretty much just for fun. Oh, and you're doing any other sports? I play baseball, football, and basketball, so. Okay, so you should be like informed yeah. to do that. Yeah. Good. Okay, and um, are any of your other classmates in this running? Or? Uh, Nick Bruno is another freshman that's doing it, and I think that's it for the freshman class. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I hope you win the turkey. I won't, but, you know, <laughs> I'll try. <laughs> okay, and um, so what, how you, are you running four miles or? I'm running four miles. Every year or is that the first this year? This is my first year running four miles. And before that, the three years, how many miles have you run there? Two years ago I did the one mile and then last year I did the two mile, so. Oh, okay, good, then thanks for your interview. Have a great day and run as fast yes. as you can. <laughs> I will. I am standing here with Ashley Waycaser. Ashley Waycaser actually is a two habitable person. She not only lives here in the county uh, of, of Sevastopol, actually in Jacksonport, but she also lives on the island. And Ashley's going to participate in the walk. Now, how far are you walking? Half a mile. So she's going to walk a half a mile. And believe it or not, she's walking in this. With the sandals, with her freshly painted toenails. Show, you have to show your toenails because that's really big, important. Just put your foot up and show your toe. There you go. Ashley, why did you decide to get involved in this? Because my little sister wanted me to, so I did it. <laughs> so there was no motivation for yourself to do it. You decided to have your sister motivate you. Well, I'm gaining some weight. Too. So you feel that this would be a good way to walk off some poundage? Okay. Well, are you cold at all? No. My toes are a little cold. But and they're probably going to get colder, just so you know. <laughs> so what do you look for? I mean, besides the fact of possibly losing a pound or two and being there with your little sister, what, what's the big thing that you look forward to achieving in this whole thing? Um... Exactly. I know. I, I get that all the time. Hi, we're here with... Sarah Hasnager, and she's one of the volunteers that helps out at the turkey shot. And what exactly are you doing here? Um, I have to stand at the finish line and rip off tags and put them in order so that we get the results in order. Oh, so you're not running? Nope. Mm -mm. But, but you're at the cross country team, right? Yep, I'm on the cross country team. So, and how was your team doing this year, this season? Um, we did pretty good. We were conference champs this year. And we didn't make it to state, unfortunately, this year, but I made it as an individual with one other teammate, so. To state or? Yep, to state. Wow, and when are you going to run there? Um, we ran last weekend, and I took 10th, so. Wow, out of how many people? 150-something. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> so, why are you not running this year? Um, I just... I've never really ran the turkey trot. I always help out with it, so. Oh. Okay, do you do that every year, or is that your first year that you're helping out? Um, I've helped out a couple years, not every year, but a couple years here and there I'll help out, so. Okay, and you're a senior at Sevastopol High School, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. So, and is that going to be your last year then that you're going to participate, or do you think you're going to do that next year? I don't know. I guess it depends where I go to school and if I'm home. On the weekend. Okay, great. Thank you for the interview. Yeah. Have fun and yeah, I'll see you around. <laughs> All right. Thanks. Sure, go ahead. Go ahead. Go well, I'm sure that people are pretty curious about who this lovely young lady is with me. And of course, her name is Neshla and Juja Olu. Yeah, right. I, I actually pronounced that. I'm pretty I've impressed with myself. I've got six people that can pronounce my name right. <laughs> so, <laughs> so um, Neshla, where are you from? I'm originally from Germany. Okay. I was born there, but my mom's from Wisconsin. Okay. And um, I'm here for five months to live with my grandparents, to go to school here, to get to know the American la lifestyle, okay. and yeah. Now, is this your first time in the States, or? No. Okay. I've been here the first time when I was six months old. Okay. 
and then every two to three years. I'm coming here for Christmas or for the summer. Okay. Yeah. So this is not new to you. Not okay. at all. So what do you think? What do you think about the difference between here and Germany? Okay, I think that's just here in Dark County, but it's like all farming <laughs> and yeah. We have to get you out of Door County because there's definitely more far yeah. more cities been, than there are I've farms. I've been to Milwaukee, okay, and I love it there. Okay, because that's more the where the city I'm from. Okay, Cologne. okay. So and Cologne's so, a pretty big city. It's like a million people. Oh my there. God! So it's like more like Chicago than Milwaukee. Then yeah. Okay. Well, that's cool. So so do you enjoy when you come over here to the states, or would you rather be home? Do you miss your friends? No, I miss my friends a lot. Okay. But the school, I really like the school. Savatsville High School is a great school okay. with great teachers, a great principal, and um, yeah, I enjoy all those like, festivals and <laughs> sports and everything. It's just great because in Germany it's not like that. Okay. It's just more. It's just bigger and not that personal. Okay. So. Okay. Did you have any questions for me? Yeah. Um, I was wondering where you are from. I'm actually from Milwaukee. From I, I was born and raised in Wisconsin, but Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Wow. So. And where in Milwaukee? Um, as about as hood as it gets. <laughs> it's a very <laughs> rough area. It's actually gotten a lot rougher now. But when I grew up there, it was a very beautiful. Actually, believe it or not, my entire community was all German people when we first moved there. Yeah. They were my, all German. So. My mom is from Wauwatosa. Okay. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So she so, was raised in Wauwatosa. Yep. And, she said and so, and they were some of the most wonderful people that I ever. I mean, I, re, I remember uh, Mrs. Schilling would like prepare snacks and treats for us all the time when we get out of school. And she'd say, just come knock on the door. And we'd knock on the door and she'd have these baggies full of goodies. I mean, oh, so that's, that's why I gained oh. <laughs> Mrs. Schilling I've, did it. I've gained like eight pounds since I'm here. Really? The two, yeah, just culvers. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> So uh, now, now that's a question. Is that a big thing in Germany, where they have a lot of fast food restaurants and things like that? Where Cologne, where you're from, I'm pretty sure in, in Berlin or some of the some of the more known cities of Germany probably have them. But like in Cologne, are there a lot of fast food restaurants there? Um, yeah, but not as much as here. Okay. We just have like the big things are um, McDonald's, KFC, okay. Burger King. And um, but here we have a lot of more like burger stores and, yep. and all that kind of them. yeah. It's and like trust me, I go around the corner and there's another one. So answer me. This is a question that probably only a true German person could answer. Bratwurst. Have you had an American bratwurst? No. You have not, not had an American bratwurst. Now have you? I'm sure you've had German bratwurst. Correct? Yeah. Okay. I would yeah. love to know if there's a difference. I probably yes, <laughs> but I haven't had an American yet, so. Okay, well we'll have to make sure know. that happens. So when you come up this summer, if you come up this summer, we'll have to find you and take you to probably Door County Custom Meats because they by okay. far have the best brats in town, from what I understand. Okay. There's a plug there. Will do. Yeah. <laughs> Turkey Trot, and now we have Lisa Bly, and Lisa Bly is one of the, also another person who's helped put this whole event together. Lisa, Turkey Trot, have you run this trot? No, I've never had the opportunity to run this race. Oh, you've had opportunity, you've just yes. avoided it no. by by being a participant and putting it together. You that's yes. that's why you've been putting it together to avoid it. I've been helping to coordinate for many many years. So. Give me a ballpark number. About oh, 10 years. 10 years. 10 years, okay. helping to coordinate. So now we've, we've been trying to get some trivia together. I, I still have yet to figure out what today's temperature is, but what's the coldest turkey trot you've been a part of? Um, 32 degrees, snow, cold, wind, blustery. <laughs> so today's yeah. gorgeous. Today's absolutely a delight. Now, did you have any questions at all? Yeah, um, what exactly are you doing here? Like, just helping to coordinate, organizing the volunteers, uh, making sure everyone's where they're supposed to be, answering questions, doing anything anybody wants done. Doing interviews and <laughs> yeah, interviews. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, great. Um, you're working at Savasville High School, right? 
I teach, oh, at, I teach at Sebastopol. I teach at first grade. Oh, okay. That's cute. Yeah. I, okay. Well, what, we don't want to keep you because you, I mean, we already had to run you down. We had to trot ourselves just to get you. So I've got my trot on already. But um, I don't want to hold you up because I know you're a very busy woman. But we thank you for taking this time to do an interview with us. Thank you very much. Enjoy the day. We are standing here right now with Jim Abrahamson, who is going to be participating in the turkey trot. Now, normally I wouldn't do this because, of course, if I asked a young lady, I might get slapped across the face. But Mr. Abrahamson, I'm going to have to ask, how old are you? 80. You're 80. So is, now, how long have you been doing the turkey trot? Almost since it started. <laughs> so you've participated every year, and now you're 80. Now, how far are you actually going? The, the two miles. So you're going to do the whole two miles? Okay, now I'm embarrassed. Now I really need to go home and put on some running clothes and get involved. <laughs> so two miles you're gonna do, and, and at 80. Now, why do you get involved in the turkey trot? Because it's, it's a good thing for the whole community. Okay. And it's good for our health. Okay. Well, you got a point there. Now I really need to go home. For my grandkids. <laughs> okay, so your grandkids participate in this too? Well, that's what I'm waiting for right now. Okay, now how many grandkids do you have that participate? Uh, today there will be Three for sure. Okay. The and other ones are playing another sport today. Okay, not a problem. And now they're little or maybe older kids? Uh, from about the fifth grade to one in college. Okay. Now, um, you have a very interesting job here in Institute. And what is that? I take care of the sanitary district. Okay. And that's... Wastewater. Okay. Wastewater. I don't understand that. <laughs> Unless you're tall, it doesn't matter. <laughs> okay. Now I get it. I'm like... That's water. Like that. <laughs> That's okay. No, you flush your toilet. No. Um, now, how long have you lived in this area? Uh, 52. 52 years. That's a long time well, I here. I've lived all my life in Sturgeon Bay. Okay. So you've been in Door County your whole life, yes. but in this area, 52 years. Except okay. for when I was in the service. Okay. Nala, did you have any questions for him? Um, yeah. So um, your motivation are your grandchildren and to stay healthy and to do something for the community. And what else? What? If you can show them that things that they can do, and they they'll keep doing, they can show that they can do it all their life most of the time, unless there would be some disability. Yeah. That's good. Okay, then thank you for your interview. I am standing here with Kelly Rankin and Cassie and Jackson, and they are going to partake in the turkey trot. Now, I don't imagine Cassie and Jackson are going to get out of there and do any running themselves. Probably not. No. So you're gonna you're gonna are you gonna run right behind them, or are you gonna just kind of just walk it through and go from there? Um, I usually start out with running, and then depending on how windy it is and how heavy the stroller gets, we usually end up walking for a while, too. Now, is this the first time you've done this? No, I've done this for the last four years, okay. five years, I think. So you've really been gung-ho about being a part of this. Mm -hmm. Why? Um, I'm a part of the Door Divas Triathlon Club, and this is one of our events that we all get together and train for. And I work for Door County Memorial Hospital, and they're one of the major sponsors. And my kids will go to Sebastopol School. So always trying to keep everything in the same filters, supporting what you want to support. And I think that's really good. Now, do you think one day they will get out of this thing and, and take a run? Or you think they're going to just like, nope, Mom, we had our fun when you pushed us. We're not running. I'll be 16 and I'll still be pushing. <laughs> um, no, I'm hoping next year Cassie will be ready to run. This year she'll probably get out and do a little bit of it, okay. but she's still kind of short. Well, we'll definitely look forward to seeing you and Jas Jackson and Cassie out there. So Thank we'll be rooting you. for you. Good luck. Hi, we're back and I'm here with Mrs. D a sixth grade teacher from Sevastopol Elementary School and um, I see you're participating in this run. Yes, I can't wait. <laughs> you can't. Um, is that the first year you're running or are you doing it every year? I do it every year. I like to run and this is a great way to support our school. Yeah, and it's a beautiful weather today. So. We're really lucky. Last so. year was cold. <laughs> yeah, what was, like how many years have you been running? Um, Oh my gosh, I've been running since college, but this race, I've done it ever since it started. I don't even know how long that is. I'd have to count the t-shirts in my drawer. <laughs> that must have been like 20 years or something. Oh yeah. Oh yes. This is my 20th year of teaching, so I guess over 20 years. <laughs> wow, that's good. So, and you are, what's your name? What's your name? Bailey Ray Ricola. Oh, and are you excited for the race? What do you, what do you want to say about the race? Mm, I like to run. You like to run, and how old are you? How old are you, Bailey? I'm four. You're four? And are you going to win a turkey or not? Mm, maybe. Maybe a medal. You're going to win a medal? That would be great. 
<laughs> okay, and um, are there many students from our school participating? Oh, I've seen many, many students, former students and current students running around here. So, and it's good to see students from other schools. This is really meant to be for the community and the kids, so it's nice to see them here. Yeah, that's really great. Okay, thank you for your time and your thank interview, you. and enjoy running. Oh, and um, one more question: How are you doing the four-mile run? Yes, or? the four-mile run. Oh, okay. Then have so fun. So now we are here, and actually, we've got something interesting happening. Yeah. Okay. Keep going. Yeah. You're almost there. Oh, oh. You're almost there. Ah! Oh. Uh, <laughs> yeah, okay. Gibraltar. I think there's going to be a little bit of rivalry going on today. Oh, in Gibraltar in Vikings. Too, right? In Iowa? Yes. Let's yes. In Wisconsin versus Iowa. <laughs> Look at that. What could be worse? Oh, it could be Wisconsin be versus race. Minnesota. We all know how that turned out. Yes, <laughs> okay. So, um, and you, sir, are. Mark Honnold. Mark Honnold. And Mark Honnold said that he had been doing this since it started. Right. So you probably know a little bit of history about this whole thing, basically, as far as to maybe uh, what's the coldest run that it's been. Now, I've heard 25. I've heard 32 snow and blustery. The snow and blustery was, was it. I don't know what the temperature was, but it was a challenge, and it was still fun, though. All right, so was it as many people then as, you know, maybe on some of the nicer days? No, I think actually it's growing more and more as people understand that this is for, you know, get moving like the Y says, uh, the YMCA, and, and also uh, just for families, family fun. You see all the, the young kids out here. You see old people. There's one person that's in the mid-70s that's been doing this also every year since it started. And then the competitive, the non-competitive, every, everyone. So. Nyla? Yeah, and what was your name again? Matt Luters. And you're from Iowa, I see? Originally from Iowa, Cedar Falls, you bet. I oh. went to the University of Iowa. Oh, okay, cool. And um, is that your first year that you're participating in this run? No, or this, is, this is my third year, and each year we bring my family out and we, we participate. I have two young kids and, and my oh. wife that, that love doing this. Oh, okay, and where did you hear from at first? I, you know, probably this guy right here. You know, we're good friends with with their family, and, and I think Mark and Pam, his wife, probably convinced us to come out and try it, and we've now been addicted to it. It's a great, great thing. Yeah, and the weather is great it's today. fantastic so. today. You can't beat this. And are your kids running too, or yeah, just... Yeah, they're doing the half-mile kids run. How old are they? Uh, my boy is five, and I have a little girl, Hayden, three. This is her first time doing this event, but she's very excited. She's done a few this year. That's cute. And your wife? Yep, she's, she's doing the two-mile run. This is her first uh, 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 event last year, so this is kind of a ritual now for her to do it. Oh, and you're doing the four-mile yep. run? I'm going to do the four-mile. I like the right, can, we, can we talk to people from Wisconsin a little yeah, bit more? Yeah, right. We don't <laughs> Iowa, we get it. We got that. We got that. We want to talk to Wisconsin people, you know, people we like. <laughs> so now, do you, is Thanks. your family involved in this? <laughs> well, no, not my family, just, just myself. Okay, so you're the only one, and you're doing the five mile? Uh, the four mile. Right? So you're doing the four. Yeah. Oh, and the, that is the top one, this four that's, mile. That's the top I think, one, yes. I think Matt alluded to five. We'll, we'll check the tape on that yeah. one. Okay. And, and he's from Iowa, you I'll have probably to end up forgive him. Five and still beating so now you guys are going to be. <laughs> <laughs> I will. I'll be this guy at least. <laughs> so you guys are going to be. This is a big thing for you. Yeah. Uh, yes, two weeks ago we ran the fall 50 together. Uh, he I and I were a pair that we ran the 50 sure. miles as a team, 25 miles each. And so we ran as a team two weeks ago, so today we're going to compete against each other. But he has to give me a little bit of a head start. <laughs> why, now, why is that? Because he's better than I am. <laughs> he's done well, we're, we're going we're gonna to win just because you're from Wisconsin, and that's all that matters. Well, guys, I don't want to prohibit you from doing your warm-up you. routines. And, you know, I see a lot of stuff going on around here. So I'll let you guys get back to that. Enjoy, and we look forward to seeing you at the finish line. Okay. And thank you for covering this great family event in Door County. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Okay, we got to do a fast one here because those guys have to be out in five minutes. I'm here with... Connor Vanderlust. Connor Ed Wilson. So, and you're on the cross country team, right? Yep. Yes, we are. And how long have you been running? Um, six years now. Same. The same? Yep. Oh, okay. And how, like, how many years have you been participating in this turkey trot? Um, probably five or six, yeah. Yeah. At five or six. <laughs> They're joined at the hips, as we can tell. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so, what do you look? I mean, are you are you in it for time? Are you in it to like like maybe beat someone else? What's or your motivation? Or just for win the whole race? Uh, pace other people. Okay, just run with people. Well, I'm not gonna hold you guys up either. I, I want you guys to get out there and do it. We'll definitely be able to talk to some more of you guys at the finish line, and, and we'll go from there. So have a good run. Right, so, and Thank good you. luck.
too. Yeah, it is incredible the amount of people that are here from all age groups just partaking in this whole event. And actually, I just saw the turkey who will be um, starting the race with everybody and getting ready to go. So, and, and again, there's a lot of different motivations. There's people here for health reasons. There's people here because it's just an awesome thing to do. There are people here um, because they're here with their significant other. There are motivation from I'm coming because my sister made me do it. I mean, or for my grandchildren. My grandchildren for, uh, I just want to kick do. some butts. Every. To run. They go on the internet, they find it, and they participate in it. Wow. So, I'm, so uh, people, there are gung-ho runners out here. And as you look at the people along the line here, there are definitely some runners in that group. I should ask where you got those from. <laughs> One minute. Go! And they're off, everybody. Sebastopol's Turkey Trot. Honestly, I know we were joking around, we said it's about 2 million people, but if you could take a wild guess as far as to how many people have actually started the two and four mile um, run walk, how many would you say? Um, about 250. Now, the relay is going to start with something new that they're doing this year. Um, it's for the younger group of kids, and what's happening is they're going to run a third of a mile, and then they're going to hand off to their next person who will run another third of a mile. Oh. So it won't be just one person running the entire time. You get a, these kids in there, and they're ready to go, and they're doing their thing. So, oh, And of course, you know, bringing up the rear would be our, our, our beautiful moms, and they're out there. That's the most important thing. I love doing volleyball, and that's my passion. I, I, but I hate running. I would never participate in a run. Never. Just if I get something for it. <laughs> Now this is the relay race. Somewhere strategically placed along the track is their partner that they will pass off to. Can we get a gobble for the turkey? Whoa! Seven. Oh. Seven. Oh, that was premature. What happened to nine? Oh, man, that was the fastest nine seconds. It just kind of went. Go, Beth! Uh, she got put the tea. Sir, do you have a number? We finished the two-mile run, and I'm here with... Ryan Hilbert. And my history teacher. And um, how was the run? It went very, very well. Very nice course, nice weather. Went well. Good. And you did the four, two mile run? Two mile. How long did it take you? Uh, about 14 minutes and 47 seconds. And have you participated before? Is that your first year? This is my first time with the turkey trot. And are you doing any other runners? or just like? Not that I know of, just practicing and running. And if any courses come up, I'll probably sign up for them. Okay, and I found the turkey and the hunter, and um, what are you guys doing? Just uh, having fun? Yeah, just having fun. We did the half mile, and um, I was in front, and then uh, she was chasing me, yep. and then in between were um, about 50 or 100 kids, yep, all half milers. Okay. Cool. So um, I assume you talk Turkish, um, as yeah. you're a turkey. Exactly. Gobble, gobble. <laughs> Great. Okay, and I see you're having fun. Oh yeah. Fun and 
have you done that before or is that your first year? Um, this is my first time being a turkey and hunter. Well, um, we've done this in the past though. And you like being a turkey? Actually, it's really fun. I thought it was going to be, you know, but you just got to have fun with it. Yeah, that's great. Okay, thank you for your time. Okay, I'm here with Drew Birmingham and John White. So, and you do did the two mile run? How do you like it? It was fine. It was pretty good. It was fine, I guess. Good. How do you like it? It was pretty fun. Oh, is that your first time that you're doing the turkey trot, or? No, it's not. This is I've done this for a couple of years now. Oh, okay. And did you broke your record, or? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> How long did it take you? Um, today it took me uh, 12:20. And you? Um, I. Uh, past couple of years I ran the turkey trot. Last year I ran the four and I won it. And then this year I ran the two because I knew Jimmy was running and I was trying to get out of turkey. So can't beat Jimmy. Yeah. And I'm here with? James Hero. Caitlin Welch. So, and did you run the four mile mm -hmm. run or? Yep, the four mile block. And how long did it take you? Uh, 22 minutes and 12 seconds. Uh, 28 minutes and I don't know how many seconds, 20 maybe, 30. Okay, and I noticed in school that you're on the track team or at the cross-country tree? Mm -hmm. right. yep. yep, yep. And how long have you been doing that? Uh, I've been in cross-country for about six years. And you? Three years. So, oh, you saw your runner fans mm -hmm. and stuff. And are you participating in any other, like, runs or just... Just pretty much this one for now, yeah. So, and you enjoyed it? Yeah, it was a lot of fun. It was nice out today. Yeah, the sun is shining. Yeah, it turned so, that way, as it's evident by my huge wool coat that I'm wearing, and scarf, and gloves, and hats. <laughs> so, so now, is this, a, is this um, 22, is that a personal best for you at all? or? Yeah, for, I've never really raced that, the four miles before, so yeah, it was a good time. And how about you? I think so. <laughs> so, I, I and I've already, I've already committed on camera that I'm going to do this run next year, okay. Lord willing, unless you know I fall off the face of the earth. <laughs> but I, my plan is to do it, and because um, not only is it a healthy thing, but it, it actually is something really good to be a part of. And I'm always for anything that's you know Door County and trying to support as much as I can. So you guys get involved for, I'm sure because you're students of the school. But are, are there any other reasons why you get involved? Well, just to stay in shape. It's always fun to race out here. It's, it's fun to hang out with the people that come here, too. Well, I'm not going to hinder you any longer. Um, we're going to let you guys do what you do. I know there's some after-running activities and some different rituals that you all have to do. And, and a so. chili contest. Right. So you run and then you go eat yeah. chili. I'm standing here after the actual turkey trot itself with Jim Abrahamson. As you know, we talked to him earlier. He's one of our older contestants in there. He's actually eight years old, and he's been doing this for quite some time. So you've just finished. How do you feel? Real good. So tell me, what did, how did you do? Uh, I did real good in the, in the first half. I did 12. And in the second, in the second half, I got to walk a little more. So, but, but I noticed, uh, we saw you coming in here, you were coming in strong, and you looked like you were pretty impressed and proud of what you accomplished. I'm impressed, and, and it definitely has motivated me to know that next year for this turkey trot, I will be in it. I will be in it. You have motivated me to do it. And it's not even just the fact of, of the same, of your age, but the fact that the determination that you have, bringing your children in here, it's really a good family thing. So I, I definitely, and you've heard it, it's recorded, it's, it's actually, it's, it's history now. I will be in the turkey trot next okay, year. Okay, I'll so. for you. I'll be here. I will definitely be here. So thank you for taking the time out to talk to us, and, and thanks for being a part of this. It's such an awesome endeavor, and I know they put a lot of work into it. I mean, and people are still crossing the finish line, and I think that they're really gung-ho, and that's an awesome thing. So, Real good. Thank you, too. Thank you. Okay, would you tell us how this whole thing works? <laughs> well, it's kind of complicated. We do the data entry into a regular database here and then when it comes time to score the race we have a, a timing box that's at the finish line there that they're operating that there's a button connected to it and every time somebody crosses the line they push the button and that gives us the time of that person 
And then they go through the chutes here and they collect their tear-off tags off the bottom of their number, which also has their number on. And those are brought in to us. In fact, one just came in now. And we're ready to scan that one. They have barcodes on them, on the tear-off tags. And we have a little scanner here, so we just scan them real quick, just like in the grocery store. Much quicker than typing all that information in by hand. This barcode is actually the number that was assigned to the runner, and then the computer looks up everything else based on the number. So we know who they are and where they're from and how old they are and what race they're in. Well, this concludes a beautiful day. Um, it ended up being 57 degrees today, so a beautiful, beautiful November day um, for the Sevastopol Turkey Trot. I've met and talked to so many wonderful people who, again, are doing this for so many different reasons, um, for their children, for their health, um, because it's just such a wonderful event fundraiser. What about you? Um, I really enjoyed it. I've learned a lot today, talked to so many people, and learned so much about this whole thing. It and it was really a blast, yeah. It's, it's a good event, and, and as with anything in Dora County, anything you can get involved in, you should get involved in. So this has been Herbie Hodges and... Nezla Jutova. And we will see you soon. Thanks for watching. <laughs>